The federal government is investigating whether the multinational mining company Glencore has breached Commonwealth environment laws by contaminating fish near its MacArthur River mine. The company has admitted being the source of lead in fish on its mine site in the Gulf of Carpentaria, but Glencore argues it's not responsible for fish contamination away from the mine site. Garawa traditional owner Nancy McDinney and her son Gadrian still often come down to the MacArthur River, but they don't collect bush tucker here anymore. We live off this river, river yeah. like fishing, but we mm. cannot do this anymore because I think it's really poison and polluted. The worried Glencore's MacArthur River mine is putting contaminants into the Northern Territory's pristine Gulf country near Baralula. This is why we're not happy of them. We're going to keep talking to them. We keep fighting to them. They have to clean this river. The mine's tailings dam has been leaking into the MacArthur River system for years. But residents' concerns escalated when the mine's waste rock dump spontaneously combusted in 2013. The fire is now out. But there's still the threat that the dump's reactive rock is leaking acid, metals and salts into the river. Our old people kept this country clean from, clean. Yeah. you know, from since creation time and still, you know, today. They but left it clean people. for us until this mine came along and damaged this Damn whole it. country. In 2014, Glencore admitted it had contaminated small bait fish in creeks on its mine site with lead. Correspondence obtained by the ABC under freedom of information laws show the health department's Stephen Scove pushed for public warnings against fishing in two MacArthur River tributaries. My suggestion was to put some signage up uh, about it. But Glencore protested and instead put up no trespassing signs. Stephen Scove wanted the government to engage a consultant to devise new testing programs for eating fish such as barramundi and sooty grunter. He threatened to tell Baralula residents the mines department was reneging on helping to pay for the study. People need to know what's going on and they need to have some confidence in the, in the program that's in place. I don't believe that we ever did um, oppose the health department's view for uh, conducting such a study. The study was eventually commissioned, and in the meantime, Glencore tested the fish that people eat. The latest results have found lead and zinc in eating fish and shellfish on and off its mine site are not safe to eat. Although Glencore has admitted to the on-site contamination from dust and seepage, the mine says lead isotopes in the fish off-site show that contamination is natural from metals already in the environment. Each particular ore body or source of lead has, a, has an isotope or, or, a, or, a, or a signature, if, if you like, and that you use that to determine where the, where the lead is coming from. Government regulators aren't convinced because the mine wasn't made to do enough baseline tests before it opened. I couldn't say that what we were seeing was because of the mine and I couldn't say that it wasn't because of the mine either. There's no evidence that there is um, minerals or contaminants leaving the mine site and having an impact on fish stocks. There's no evidence that there's not. The federal government isn't convinced either and is investigating whether fish contamination has breached environmental law. The Environmental Protection Authority says it's not a great concern yet. Yes, they have detected isotopes uh, in the fish downstream, which clearly come from the mine, but they are in trace levels, so it's, it's not a significant issue in that sense. Until the fish consultant's report is released, the health department is advising Borolula people only to eat fish two to three times a week and shellfish less often than that. Jane Barden, ABC News.